In all my years of playing this game, nothing sticks with me quite as well as a great teamwork play. Whether it be with my friends in rank 5s or a planet aligning moment in solo queue, it's safe to say that the games I'll remember forever weren't one alone. Welcome everyone to our top 5 plays, and today's episode features a wide array of teamwork plays followed by a HyperX giveaway, so let's begin with Zezima on Janna. As they farm under tower, we see Jarvan lurking in the shadows as they move in on Corky and she lands Zephyr. Jarvan flash EQs over the root, forcing Zyra to flash, but Cataclysm seals the deal as we look to Corky. He tries to escape in an instant flash monsoon, shuts down the Valkyrie, and pushes him directly to her teammates for the second kill, resulting in the immediate dragon right after. The amazing read combined with perfect placement on the flash delivers such a free kill that translates into a huge early game lead for blue team. Moving along and into our number 4 spot, we have Long Range 102 on Talon with a last second turnaround play in the mid lane. We see him running top, but as he goes to clear the wave, the enemy team get a catch and then all of a sudden the rest of red team show up and start crushing champions. One by one, blue team gets thinned out until only 3 players remain so they fall back to Talon but then an arrow comes flying in and it connects on Vayne. Sion charges up his Q as Talon comes in, knocking up 4 enemy players which saves Vayne and sets up Talon to annihilate the enemy team with Shadow Assault and some autos for the instant triple. Despite a flash away, he still goes down, but nonetheless they walk away from this 3v5 with an ace, all thanks to the unlikely mini wombo between Talon and Sion. It takes two to tango, and in this next play by Gigabyte on Lee Sin, he syncs up with Fizz to pull out some crazy moves. As he approaches the fight in the bot lane, we see his teammates start to go down, and despite a good attempt by Nami, the enemy bot lane comes out ahead, but here comes Fizz with the flank. Lee Sin is also moving in to sandwich the rap, but by the time they start to close in, Twitch goes in Viz, but Lee War jumps to close the gap and lands an incredible sonic wave, killing Twitch in his tracks. They waste no time and get on Shaco, and since he has double buffs, they have no problem sticking to the right target, getting the kill, but then they immediately peace out because of Xerath poke and minion damage. When Xerath comes back in, Fizz tries to pull a fast one, but his all connects with the Shaco clone and he's forced to back out. With Lee insanely low, he cues and backs off, flashing the Arcana Pulse and going straight into War Jump Kick as Fizz takes it from here, queuing in and using a Z to dodge and finish him off. Coming in at second place, we have Norky Kissy on Gragas with a sick bodyguard play to protect the AD carry in the face of death. Right off the bat, Twitch sneaks in and gets on Xerath, but Gragas predicts the shocking orb and body slams in front of Twitch to eat it up and allow him to finish the job. They get some nice damage on Leona, but then more enemy players start to come in and Leona ults Twitch. Gragas denies Gnar with his ult and then denies again with Body Slam on the flash, saving Twitch a second time from being ulted and CC'd to death by Gnar. With little engage left on the enemy team and Evelyn here, they slowly start to turn the tides and chase Blue Team back under their tower, getting Gnar and Lee Sin before backing off to push the wave in Siege. Since Evelyn dove and she's deep into enemy territory, she stalls until they take down the tower and can rejoin and die for a final kill and then the tier 3 tower right after. For the most part, we see the champion Gragas deep in the back lines trying to assassinate the enemy carries by spreading the fight apart and isolating a target. But it's not often that we get to see the big guy carry a team fight by using a skill set defensively to peel for an ally in need, and in such a well done fashion. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Samsung Madlife on Riven and her trusty sidekick Liani on Nidalee. At the start of this play, we see Red Team booking it down mid to go end the game. They just wiped out three members of Blue Team, and since the death timers are long and they have super creeps pushing with them, they can zerg the base and end it. It's time for Riven and Nidalee to make their final stand, and as the enemy team move in, she pops everything and flashes, working her way to the carries, but she's stopped dead in her tracks by all the CC. She dashes out as Nidalee peels back too, and despite the heal, Riven gets yanked back in. Nidalee sees an opening and flash W's on Lucian, distracting the enemy team, and then when Riven responds, she gets in there to stun and help Nidalee escape. Escape. Riven goes for Sendra, dodging her W with broken wings as she somehow gets the kill with a sliver of health as Ignite takes Irelia and Nidalee 1v1's Lee. Right off the ace, blue team counter shoves mid to take the win after the insanely close 2v5. This is one of those plays that I would highly recommend watching more than once. Both players work together so well to outplay and cover for each other in times of need and every little thing adds up. One small mishap and one or both of them would have been dead and the game would have been up in the air. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Yuppie on Fizz who goes for a chum the waters on the enemy Triss but gets a very different result than expected. As this goes on, I wanted to remind you guys that as of now, we're running a HyperX giveaway for one of their cloud headsets. 
Like the previous giveaways, all you have to do to enter is head over to the Rafflecopter link provided at the top of the description box on this video. It only takes about two minutes to enter yourself in the drawing and if you've done it in the past then it's even faster. The Cloud headset is just hands down the best bang for buck you're gonna find anywhere and as of right now, if you purchase it off Amazon you can get 47% off the retail price. I'll provide that link in the description box as well if you want to check it out while you're entering the giveaway. So if you guys couldn't tell, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather this week so hopefully it doesn't reflect too much in the commentary of this video but I hope you like today's episode nonetheless. We have a bunch more content for you guys in the upcoming weeks and we're really excited to get that rolling out so until then thanks for watching and have a great weekend. It's like a jungle out there. There's a virus outbreak. Many people were infected. What are you talking about? You are patient zero and we have to carry you back to HyperX Labs right now. <laughs> We're just fighting! I'm correct! We may not be fighting side by side anymore, but we're still a team. GG.